Hello guys, um, welcome to a new tutorial uh, of my channel. Um, so in this tutorial, this is going to be my first uh, Blender 2.8 tutorial. Um, and I wanted to really recommend you guys a ma an amazing add-on uh, for Maya users. Whoever Maya user users wants to use Blender. And this add-on is literally a lifesaver. So... I've been talking to the developer for quite a long time and you've just got to I will link his uh, his gun road under my description uh, basically this, this video is about the review basically review for um, for this uh, for this Adam um, and he's been working really hard on the uh, pro version it has the free version and also has the pro version so the pro, pro version is like um, $35 um, so it's literally worth it if you really want to use Maya and this guy literally turn he turns blender into Maya so it's like a magic so that's why I'm going to review this atom for you guys just, just to see whether it's uh, actually worth it to buy it so I haven't really I haven't touched um, the uh, blender um, 2.8 uh, at all so this is actually my first time using blender 2.8 to do a tutorial so th let's see I have already installed Adam uh, there are a few steps that I uh, need to uh, copy this uh, the configuration to the starter folder but you can find uh, his tutorial. He has a tutorial uh, on his channel, so you can find the tutorial relative to the tutorial in the, his channel. Uh, but here, I'm just gonna quickly um, review this atom. So basically, if you just have a dive in here, I have already changed the theme uh, to gray color. So I, I kind of really prefer this. So basically, uh, the navigation is basically the same. So you've Alt uh, left click is like rotate. Um, alt right click is like zooming and zoom out and it's just like alt and middle boss button and you can pan your view like this so it's a very very um, corresponding you can find the corresponding keys exactly like that in Maya as well so uh, I'm using the 1.3 Pro version so what this is gonna do here is uh, compare with the free version uh, the Pro version has the uh, shelf basically he added the shelf uh, on, at the top of the viewport uh, which is kind of simulating Maya as well uh, you can see you can create all the primitives in here uh, you can add your uh, um, text um, add empty and one of the best uh, tool that I really like is the symmetry um, you can just click on that and it's going to symmetry based on the oh, you have to make sure that the, the geometry is in the middle of the grid so let's do this you delete this one here and we're just going to click one of the button he just created so sit into the uh the search uh the cursor um then i'm going to create a cube and with this cube is in the middle of the world you can just click on that and that's just going to immediately create um this um mirrored geometry and also it deletes it deletes the half of the geometry as well so it's, it's really really convenient so as I said um, this is just a review uh, so um, I might not be um, a hundred percent like good at using this atom but I'm trying to use my old knowledge 2.79 to try and apply the uh, onto the new atom so let's just take a look at the toolbar here and we've got uh, the three button here so three buttons like you can ch uh, change the subdivision subdivision one subdivision two and subdivision three so basically it's like one two three press one and two and three on your keyboard uh, it's going to create the uh, the preview of the subdivision it's just like Maya and you can change your gizmo size just by sliding the um, the slider and of course uh, 3d cursor center th center 3d cursor it's, it's very easy uh, I've got a view a render you can change your to this to the quad view you can 
let's see that we've got top, front, um, right, and we can also just uh, change that to uh, orthographic and to switch from perspective to orthographic, so like that. Um, also, what you can do here is you can actually access to the preferences by clicking on the gear, gear button and it just takes you to the blender preferences other than you go all the way to the editor menu click on there and go to the preferences so it's really easy so there are people asking is this gonna overwrite like destroy the blender uh settings uh the answer is no because you can actually switch back to blender in here somewhere uh, let me try to see um there's like one version to here there so you can actually change from Maya settings to the Blender settings right now. If I click on that, so I can no longer Alt and left click to rotate. Instead, I have to click on my middle mouse button to rotate my geometry. This is like the Blender settings. But if you don't want to use Blender settings, you just go click on the Maya settings configuration. And now you are back to Maya settings. It's really, really good. man. I really love it. So let's uh, let's take a look at the outliner here. Uh, the outliner basically is also trying to mimic the uh, Maya outliner. You've got your collection here. Uh, I've got a camera here. I've got your geometry. And if you want to click the collection, collection is just like a group. Uh, like in Maya, you can find a basically corresponding uh, function. It's like a group. So if you want to create a new group, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure you can just Alt Control in, uh, Alt in. Uh, not sure which. Uh, I haven't I haven't figured that out. The hotkeys for creating a collection here. Um, uh, pretty sure it's uh, Control M. No, it's not. Doesn't matter. Um, so if you want to create a collection, sorry, I'm not very good at this using two point eight, but I'm trying to um convert my um two point seven nine to two point eight at the moment. So if you want to create a new collection, just click in here, new collection, done. So very easy, and um, also if you can click on the um, the filter here, you can click on the arrow, and the arrow what the arrow is gonna do is basically like the two point seven nine locker. So if you want to lock this geometry, you just click on this arrow here, and now you will be no longer selecting the geometry, and it can toggle on and off the visibility as well. Okay. So um, basically, because I'm a, a, a hand painted 3D artist, so I wanted to use 2.8 to do the exactly same thing as what we're doing, as what I was doing in 2.79. So it's actually pretty simple. So what you need to do here, as you can see here, I've got all this layout here, and what you need to do, just click on the texture paint, and we what we're gonna do here to bring up the, the old menu so right now we've got a new menu the painting menu but this is actually not something we like we want something like this and so what we can do here is we can just drag a new um, a menu here sorry I might run button sorry it's gonna drag one menu here and drag another one here so we've got three viewports so the, the very left one is going to be a click on the uh, the editor type. I'm going to change that to the UV editor. We can change that to image editor. doesn't matter because we want to see the texture and the flat um, view. And the, th the middle viewport, we're going to change that to our painting mode, which is going to click on that and change that to properties. If we just click on the properties here and click on the first button here, this is the active tool and a work workspace settings. So now we got exactly the same uh, layout as uh, 2.79. And if I just press T, just hide the menu, and now I can just fully use uh, the menu in here. And so right now I don't need to do all those um, the settings tutorial because this those tutorial uh, those settings are exactly the same like 2.79 so the only thing I wanted to tell you and to switch is like the color picker so if you would just go to our uh, let's see uh, go to oh, no, I don't even need to go to <laughs> go to the edit and go to preference I just click on 
T and then click on this gear button and bring up this one here and what I need to do here is go to interface and then all I need to do is just change the color picker type from circle to the square but not this one here the square sorry the first one SV plus H so anything after that I just go click on this little um, button drop down button and then change that to save preferences so now you've got your perfect color picker exactly the same here and you can just create your textures just by click on this plus button here and create a base color you can change the uh, 2048 change the size uh, change this to 2048 as well and go OK so now you've got your cube set up and then uh, we can make it to flat if you want to make it to flat and just go to the drop down button here and click on that and click on flat and now you have your flat cube flat color cube and then you can clear it, clearly see uh, the painting strokes on your uh, surface and basically the rest of stuff is going to be the same cool and so basically the uh, the add-on here is really really good like I I just can't stop like using it it's just so it's just so good it's make just literally makes my life so much easier uh, let's just go back to the modern parts here um, so there are a few th other things I can actually cover let's just right click on that so you know in um, in Maya, you've got the hotbox. Uh, right click, and you can get all the hotbox in here. And basically, uh, this add-on uh, can basically basically do the same thing. And you can right click and choose the component that you want to edit. So if you want to choose to vertex, you can just adjust the vertex, and you can go to edge, edge as well. Go to face, select the face, and adjust the position of the face it's pretty cool and how you can do so many things and uh, just right click and you can see all the smooth you can change the shading to smooth and you can just change it to uh, flat shaded flat shaded stuff like that you can isolate if you have if you've got multiple um, geometries and if you want to isolate all you need to do here is just right click and go isolate boom so this is a really really uh, good add-on. I think I really highly recommend the uh, whoever is using Maya, um, just give it a go. It's pretty cheap, thirty-five dollars, and compare with the price in Maya to do the modeling, uh, it's it's you can't even compare that. So yeah, um, the developer has been has done a great job. Um, just in terms of the uh, the atom, so I want to uh, keep supporting him, and so he will keep uh, creating cool uh, add-ons for Blender users, especially for the Maya users who is trying to use Blender and struggling to use Blender. So this is actually a lifesaver. So okay, so if you guys like this tutorial, just give a thumbs up, and we will talk about more Blender 2.8 tutorials in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.